Hello YouTube, what's going on? We are back with our first actual video in forever. Today is going to be an updated cube collection video and I'm very excited to show off some of the cubes that um, I've gotten within the last uh, however long it's been that I haven't been able to show you guys or that I haven't shown you guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, I've got all my cubes very um, kind of nicely at least laid out. I've got, uh, I've got a bunch over here i've got a bunch here let's just get right into it i'm gonna start over here um i kind of got them sectioned um these right here these oh well not this that's a skew these are uh gear puzzles that we're gonna start with um this is the gear minx uh land, land uh, i think it's land land i can't remember the company that makes it but it's a gear minx and essentially what it is is a shape mod of just a uh, normal gear cube, which this is a normal gear cube here. And uh, it turns the same way that a three by three in a gear cube would, um, rather than turning like a Mega Minx would. It's just a three by three, a shade down into the shape to give the look of it. But um, the only other the only other real challenge that it adds aside from a gear cube is that uh, like these right here, this is a centerpiece right here and uh, that now has orientation because it's got two colors on it. So now it's also not only a gear cube, but a super cube. Um, so that's the gear minx, as well as just mentioned here is my normal gear cube. Doesn't have any of the stickers like on the, the, the middle edges. So this is uh, it's the original stickering, classic gear cube, you know, not much to say about that. And then obviously the gear ball, this is the one that's been mass produced and uh, put into stores and put into the hands of uh, beginner cubers. Very good cube, very good quality, very good shape mod. Another shape mod that's been mass produced pretty widely now, this is the uh, gear barrel. Which again, these are all just the same thing as uh, the normal gear cube here. Just a, di a different shape now. And just adds a little bit of a fun, unique twist to it. Kind of shape-shifting-ish as you play with it. This is not a gear cube. I don't know why this is here. This shows how much uh, organization I've actually put into this video. But this is a square one. And it's messed up because I never learned how to solve one. And I thought that maybe I could pick it up and learn how to solve it on my own. But that wasn't happening. So it's it's just kind of scrambled. And it's, it's still here. So I guess it's a gear cube because it makes the gears turn in my head in an annoying ass way. So haha, <laughs> right? This is David's gear cube, not solved because um, I haven't solved it much and I tried to pick it up like a week ago and solve it and it's been so long that I can't remember how so I need to relearn it. So I'm just kind of living with the embarrassment that uh, I don't remember how to solve it for this video as of right now for the collection because I haven't gone through the effort to relearn it. Very fun puzzle. It turns literally like a 2x2 two two without the gears doing anything. And then it has the move where, you know, you twist the two corners and everything spins. The corner, all the corners twist and this little middle circle here, uh, twist, which, uh, orients and messes up, uh, the pieces that were in there. Very fun puzzle. A little frustrating right now because I'm trying to relearn it, but that's, uh, that it is what it is when, when you don't solve certain puzzles for, for so long, you know? last gear puzzle at least it looks like it's the last gear puzzle that i have here um this is the gear shift i believe i think it's also might be known as a two by two gear cube um but it's the it's the gear shift it has two ways of turning you can grab uh, two corners and kind of twist them and you can have the entire cube just twist it once or you can shift and you can pull the top layer and you can twist just that and slap it back down wherever and then pull this layer and twist it and slap it back very fun puzzle though definitely recommend it if you're into gear puzzles and uh and you don't have this definitely worth adding to your collection that is it for gear puzzles plus a square one for some reason by the way this is calvin's uh calvin's puzzle uh, i just bought this from like barnes and noble or, or something stupid just so i could say i have a square one not really too interested in square one in itself or uh solving it but i, I sh I'll, I'll have to learn someday now i guess we're gonna move on Let's slide all this over we're gonna move on to i guess the the n by n puzzles that i have here starting from the smallest to biggest as i get organized and um, as i'm talking and my end puzzles this is these are the two two by twos that i have i don't remember which one this is i think it's it's a moyu uh 
I want to say it might be a, either a Lingpo or a Wei Long. I don't no, maybe that's a three by three. I don't remember. Lingpo, it might it might be a Lingpo. At least I had a Lingpo if this isn't it. But this is it, it, this is this is the two by two that I that I have. I don't do much of two by two though. It is fun to to solve two by two occasionally. Um, and then this one is just a, a, a very crappy, terrible uh, Rubik's brand one. Um, I think it was like the first two by two that they made when they started tiling, and uh, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. But those are my two by twos. My three by threes. This is my main here. Now I've got, I'm gonna have to grab. These are the normal three by threes that I have. This is my main three by three. This is the Moyu Along V2, uh, classic to me. I've used it for years. It's definitely an old one. My experience in new cubes isn't there. So I am also trying to, uh, as I'm kind of getting back into everything now, I'll be experimenting with uh, newer cubes and newer 3x3s and maybe picking out a new main. But right now, Moyu Along V2, that's my main. These two are the Gans. This, I believe, this one I believe is the Gans 356. So these are oldies, right? But they're goodies. Um, and this one I believe is the 357. And, uh, you know, they're both, they're both still good cubes. They, they, they've held up over time, I guess. Like I said, I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what new cubes are capable of now, but they're still good cubes to me. This is a something. This is a Diane Guhong, maybe. I know this is definitely one of the, uh, older ones out there. Uh, stickerless. Definitely, um, definitely hasn't held up too good. Definitely, it, it never was too good of a cube, in my opinion, um, because it's, it's, very easy to just get going. Well, I'm actually surprised it didn't happen, but it's actually very easy for the cube to pop. It doesn't stay together very well, um, so that's a, that's a huge issue with this cube that I always had. Um, right here, this is a Rubik's brand 3x3, which I actually made turn fairly well with a little bit of lubricant, but all you know, all Rubik's cubes, uh, Rubik's brand, they're all tensioned very tight. No matter no matter how much you lube it, no matter how fast you make it, it never turns in corner cuts as good as, you, as you're ever gonna want it to. But Rubik's brand three x three, and then this is an older Rubik's brand three x three that is missing a center sticker on the green. Um, but I just kind of keep it around as a novelty. Definitely turns like complete garbage. Um, it feels like someone dumped a bunch of concrete and sand inside of it, and it really is just terrible. I just kind of keep it around for the novelty. Maybe, maybe one day I'll mod it and into, into something, and uh, and that could that could be fun. So that's what I have for the three by threes. These are the rest of my n by n cubes, which is obviously I don't have a million cubes of each. Um, because I also never really speed solved anything higher than three by three. I never really got into it, though. I do want to start getting more into four by four now. This would be considered my main because I don't have any other speed four by four. I definitely know it's not. The, not too good. It's not the best for sure. This is a Shane Chow uh, 4x4. I, I bought some years ago. It performs all right, but it's very, very clunky. Hasn't held up the greatest, but it's my 4x4. And then I got 5x5, five five, which is Shane Chow also. Um, I think I bought them both at the same time, or just both because I was into Shane Chow um, at the time. But this is Shane Chow 5x5. Five five. It performs all right. Um, nothing crazy, not, doesn't corner cut the best, um, but it performs, you know, it's a 5x5. Five five. Then I got 6x6 six six right here. Don't know what 6x6 six six this is at all. Get the camera to, to focus on it, uh, trying to show you guys the logo, and you can get it. I don't know. I don't know, I don't, it's a 6x6 six six though, and it, it performs pretty well, it corner cuts very good. Um, I bought it within the somewhat... Uh, okay. See, I'm telling you it performs very well and then something like this, something, something like this happens. I bought it maybe a couple years ago just to have a 6x6 because I, it's the only one that I even have now. Um, same with this 7x7. This is, uh, something. I have no idea what 7x7 this is. So it's just a 7x7 so I can have a 7x7, right? And, uh, I also have, um, again, don't know the brand or anything from these, but these are, uh, this is, I believe, eight, right? Yeah, this is an eight by eight. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This is a nine, wait a minute, wait a minute. One, two, three, this is a nine by nine, and this is a 10 by 10. So these are my two bigger ones here of the N by N series. And then 
for those of you guys who followed me, you know that I've got my baby here. The 13 by 13. It's the biggest cube that I have. As you can see, I've got it into a super flip pattern, which I think looks amazing on a big cube like this. That is definitely my pride and joy. I definitely worked hard to save up the money to buy that as a as a 16 year old. So um, those are my N by N cubes. Now we're gonna get into the stuff that I have over here. These are all just kind of didn't know like what to categorize them kind of cubes they're kind of oddball stuff i guess um it'll get more oddball the more we get into this stack here start uh, i guess these are the two minxes that i have this is my mega minx not sure what brand it is probably shank Shao because i was just so in love with shank Shao and i mean it's got the green the green is the same no it's not maybe a little different but could be shank Shao. probably shank Shao. this is my mega minx and uh I don't play Mega, play Mega Minx that often, just because it takes a little bit uh, more time to, to solve, and uh, some of the stickers are getting messed up and everything, it's getting old, I need to get a new one. And then I also have the Giga Minx here, which I actually do bust this out time to time and mess it up and solve it, just as like a little, a little project cue, a little time waster. I think it takes me a good like 40 minutes or an hour or maybe something to, to solve this. If I put my mind to it, maybe a little less, but um, Definitely a, a little bit of a project cube. These, I guess, are some Pyramin, Pyraminx related puzzles. This is a uh, Pyraminx. I think I actually bought this from Barnes and Noble. It's just a standard Pyraminx. It's got magnets in it. it feels very nice. It's, I, I think the feel of the magnets um, are very nice. Stickers haven't held up too great. Um, some feet, some fading along the, the some fading along the, the edges and some chipping on it and everything. Metrics straight out of Barnes and Noble. Um, same with this one. Um, this one I just kind of bought as a novelty. It's a lot heavier. I think it's, uh, I don't really know what material it's supposed to be. It's just maybe a clear plastic of, of, of some sort. But as you can see, it's got, uh, it's made to be mostly transparent. To where it's only just got, like, the outline of the colors. And, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Like I said, I bought this mainly for a novelty. A little bit annoying to solve because, like, these little pieces are only identified with the color by these two little dots um that are on them there so it's not as uh pleasant to solve as the uh, normal pyramids but it's a novelty this i don't remember what this is called oh. Oh. so i had to look it up just to make sure but yes this is this is the pyramids duo okay and uh this is the pyramids diamond both uh pyramids kind of variations this one I don't have solved because I was never the best at solving this one and I got mad at it one day and I, you know, I gave up. <laughs> and that's how it goes sometimes until you come back at it and uh, with a calm mind. But uh, those are the Pyramid ones. This one here I have is the Kirby Copter. And a very fun cube. Uh, I like oddball cubes like this. It's an edge, edge turning puzzle. Turns along the edges and it also um, jumbles if you turn a layer like this and then you can go and uh, offset or turn this layer over here and jumble the pieces and have it start to shape ship and look all look all kinds of look all kinds of crazy it's a very fun puzzle definitely recommend adding it to your collection next over here this is the curvy dino cube which hasn't held up too great over the years you can see I've got a missing piece from this edge here and uh, I've got an entire missing edge cap there. Like the piece itself is still there, like the actual edge piece, but the caps that had the stickers on them, uh, they, they've gone MIA. It's still a, it's, it's still a very fun puzzle. I, I really want to buy a new one of these because I think the Curvy Dino Cube is definitely a fun puzzle. Uh, corner turning puzzle, um, which uh, is a step up from the normal Dino Cube, which doesn't have these, uh, main corners uh to it they're pretty much like concealable in them so it's just a bunch of edges turning across the corner um which this cube is actually pretty much the exact same as this cube here this is the ready cube um i believe it's called r-e-d-i i don't know if that's supposed to be a brand or a, a, the name of the uh, designer or it's just supposed to be the name of the design itself or what but it's literally the same thing it's a corner turning puzzle that has the same pieces except they're just cubed and not curved 
you know it's got the kirby dino cube has your main corner with the three colors on it and then it has the middle edges and this is the same thing it's got the main corner and the three edges it's this it solves the same exact way they turn the same exact way they're essentially the same exact cube so those are the corner turning puzzles that i have this cube is also a fun cube this is a mefferts i believe they called it the checkerboard cube definitely a fun and in an interesting variation to a 4x4 i think it would be really cool to see more puzzles like this uh like higher order puzzles uh i think it would be a really cool idea to just uh which is a maybe a hint towards a future video um but i'd like to purchase just two uh seven by sevens one black plastic and one white plastic and just combine the pieces and make one because i think it'd be just really cool to see other cubes and uh and higher orders with this kind of uh or with this design uh just because it brings a fun and fun challenge to the to the cube this is just here because it's part of my collection so i have to show it right this is uh i, I think i won this out of like a gumball machine um from like a bowling alley i believe and uh it's just some stupid picture cube that's got a bunch of stupid little space uh related pictures on them and uh the stickers have been falling off one by one ever since i got it so that's that that is just the random little three by three this one is a crazy 2x2. Two two. This is definitely a fun variation to the 2x2. Two two. I like playing with it a lot to this day. Um, I'll sit down and just fidget with this. All it is is a 2x2, two two, turns normal just like a 2x2. Two two. And then these, uh, these, this middle circle here, you can rotate it either direction and you can mess up the, uh, the middle slices in there while still having the outer corners solved and it's definitely a fun challenge to the two by two definitely worth adding to your collection i think they make them a little more differently now this is definitely an older version where they've got these little these little divots on here that's supposed to be a, a thumbprint to help turn them but i think i'm pretty sure i was looking on the cubicle and they even make stickerless versions of it now so definitely go get yourself one crazy two by twos are a fun puzzle to have and uh, to play with now we're starting to get into the oddball ones that are just kind of that's kind of exist um, this one is still in the box. I've never, like, actually opened it. Oh, wait, no, I have. It's out of the plastic. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've solved it once. It's a money cube. It's got, uh, couldn't have even been a hundred. It couldn't even been hundreds, right? It couldn't have even been Benji's. It's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be Georgie. Uh, we got a bunch of one dollar bills on it. Um, but, I mean, for what it is as a cube, it turns fairly nice. And, uh, I just don't play with it that often. I think it was given to me as a stocking stuffer by uh, my mother one time, but it stays around in my collection and I like to keep it in the box just for some reason. These are kind of the sliding puzzles, I guess. This is the, uh, the missing links puzzle, which I definitely, I think I've done a couple videos on the channel way back when on this puzzle, probably even both of them. But uh, this is the original missing links that uh you know they just you got the one white side that has the empty slot so you can start sliding pieces all around and uh I, I still think this is to this day i still think this is a very fun puzzle it's a very fun puzzle to just sit and play with um and this one is a little bit of a different version well i guess a little more of a step up um because it's got more colors on it i don't really know where this came from or what this is actually supposed to be called um if this was anything official or what um well it's actually made by ljn nerd fans got scared there for a second but it's got um let's see one two three it's got six colors on them it's got all of the it's got all six of the rubik's cube traditional rubik's cube colors on them instead of like this one where it has four squares on each one and then three for the side that missing one uh this has three on each side and then two for the site for the color that's missing one and uh but it's still essentially the same thing now these are the complete oddball cubes that i have that don't get touched ever um this is the rubik's slide was it called yeah rubik's slide and uh let me flip, flip it on real quick um it's an uh, it's a little electronic game just it's a game where um let's start it up here i picked easy and uh it gives you this dot on the screen right and you get to move it around and control the dot by twisting the cube or by twisting this outer face 
you push this button, it tells you where you gotta put the dot. So I gotta put the dot in the corner so I can slide it over into the corner like that. Now I have, now it tells me I gotta put it back in the center. I put it back in the center. Obviously it's just, there we go, it gets a little harder now. Now I have two dots I gotta deal with it. I gotta put them down there and just slide them down there. You know, um, and it's, it's kind of fun to, I guess it is kind of fun to play, um, but it's just one of those ones in my collection that never gets touched. Same with this, this is the Rubik's uh, 360 garbage invention, absolutely garbage cube. Um, it's not a cube, matter of fact, it's a sphere. Garbage sphere, 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 am I? I think, do I have a lisp? Absolutely terrible. Um, when I was younger, I liked it for a period of time because there was a there was a point where I was or like I had the trick like down to where I could actually just like whip these fucking balls and these holes giggity with no issue whatsoever and just put them where they need to go. I, I I picked it up and played with it like a little bit ago, like a month ago, and I had an absolutely terrible time playing with it. If you want it for a novelty, I guess it's cool because it's like, ooh, look at this weird looking thing. But uh. It sucks, and it's noisy. It rattles like a goddamn rattle. My, anyway, I turned my game, my computer even got scared of it. And then here I have the Rubik's uh, snake, I believe they called it. No, they called this. They called it the Rubik's twist. I believe they call it snake, though. I had it. That's. I think that's supposed to technically be the solved position, is when it's in the it's sphere like that. But th this is the this is the Rubik's twist. Just this line big bar where at each intersection here uh they all they turn and you can make a bunch of twist it into a, a bunch of wacky shapes i've still even to this day and after all these years i've still got pretty good memory on how to on how to put it back into the ball i guess uh you know muscle memory it's like learning how to ride a bike when you get something uh that engraved into your muscle memory it, it just, it, it never leaves, you know, you always remember. So that's everything on the bottom tier of my desk here. Um, please note this isn't how my desk is typically organized. I usually have my cubes, uh, elsewhere so they're not in my, in my way here in my workspace. I like to sit here and relax and play video games and watch YouTube and, uh, so this is just for the purposes of the video. And I don't know why I'm saying that. I think I'm just scared of being looked at as a messy weirdo, but anyway, that's everything on the bottom tier of my desk. I'm going to get all this moved out of the way and uh off of this area of the desk so i can get everything from the top tier down here and we can look at all that stuff okay i have moved everything down from the top tier to the bottom tier and i have two categories of more of cubes to look at to start we're gonna start over here these are all three by three related cubes uh mostly being shape mods a couple of them just more closely related to being a normal three by three. Start with these here. This is just some random super cube picture cube that I got from somewhere. I'm pretty sure I found this at a dollar store or uh, like something or a Goodwill or something like that. And I uh, bought it just kind of, just for the joke, just for the meme, you know? Um, it turns very terribly, very crappily. Definitely a dollar store cube um, just by the feel of it. Um, but it was just, just something to the collection. This one, I don't remember where I got. I think I got this um, in my stocking one year for Christmas. Um, but it's definitely, it was always a cool one to me. As uh, Super Mario Maker, when I came out on the Wii U, that's what this is themed off of. It's got, you know, that picture there. It's got Mario there. It's got a couple of uh, pictures from each game design that they offer for levels that you can make within the game. And uh, very cool picture cue. Very, very fun one. This one is, uh, I think, the worst cube in my collection. I think I hate it the most. It's annoying. It's visually unappealing. It sucks. It's hard. I'm pretty sure it's not even solved right now. One one day I'll one day I'll do it. One day, but today's not the day. Maybe that, maybe, maybe another video. I'll go through the frustration of, of, of solving this difficult difficult cube for sure now we're gonna actually start getting into three by three uh mods here this is a wall cube a tony fisher i don't remember it ever being called the wall cube when i first started entering the cubing space in like 2011 or 12 it used to just be a mod that you can make on your own by taking a normal rubik's cube and misaligning the layer 45 degrees like this and then uh 
cutting off the edges that stick off and then extending the centers that dive in and by doing that you can create the shape mod so now it doesn't turn when it's in its normal cube position this way it won't turn it'll turn the upper layer and the bottom layer will turn but what you have to do is move the middle layer 45 degrees and then you can go and turn it and you get some uh, some fun shape shifting uh, effects and challenges that differs from a normal 3x3. Here's the Void Cube, old classic 3x3 mod. This one that I have here is definitely old. It definitely shows signs of age, like the white is very dirty on it. Uh, I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up, but whatever. Definitely a very fun cube. The novelty of it is just really cool. Definitely catches people attention just because of the fact that it's, you know, a, a void through it. And uh, it was also just a very cool concept as a cuber because it's a cube that is, you know, made possible without actually having it pour. So I always thought it was really cool just because of that. Now these here were my attempts at modding 3x3s at a young age. This one didn't turn out the worst. This one was meant to be the house cube, as you could tell. Um, the craftsmanship on it just isn't the best. Um, but like I had the idea down and I kind of had the shape down. Um, it's missing, I got a, it's missing a whole thing of pieces right here. Um, this was an old Rubik's brand cube that I uh, just got de-stickered and, and got to modding. And uh, I would love to try something like this again and, and get better at it. But uh, someday in the future. This was my attempt um, at making the wall cube that I just mentioned earlier that I showed here. I tried making one and it's unfinished because I never even like capped off or filled in like the center edge pieces. But you know, I had the idea down, you, you turn it or you misalign the layer 45 degrees and you turn it and yeah. That's just uh, poor quality though. But I was young, what are you gonna do? Same thing here with the uh, uh, barrel cube that I made an attempt at. You know, I had the I had the shape down. Uh, the only complaint is just that, like, I used plastic plastic sheeting to cover up the the cut pieces, and the pieces weren't cut like straight, like with each other, so they're like very uneven. And uh, the noble attempt at a young age. This cube here, I have it set up to where it's a bandage cube. But what this actually is, and I don't remember what it was called. I don't even have all the rest of the pieces on hand to show you, but. It's a cube, it's a normal three by three that comes with a bunch of tiles that comes with like one by two tiles, one by one tiles, two by two square tiles that you can uh, put on the cube however you want. And you can make designs out of cubes out of a normal three by three by putting different shaped tiles on it and by bandaging certain layers. And it's um, definitely a fun concept. I think this was like the last cube or the first cube that I got that I didn't make a video on. I don't know why that's clicking in my head, but it sounds about right to me. But I, ha I, just, I have all the tiles set up to where it's a bandage cube. So it's my way of having a bandage cube. But a very fun puzzle to have fun with. Uh, not only just ba is the bandage cube very hard, but the, the concept of this kind of brick building 3x3 three three is definitely a cool concept. This one's definitely a weird shape mod here. I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember if this was like a dollar store kind of win or like some weird like gumball machine kind of win thing or some arcade game or something stupid. But it's a three by three that's modded into be like a three layered cake where, uh, you know, this first layer is just all big and green. And then this second layer is medium orange. just a small yellow. And uh, it, it is a three by three. It turns exactly like a three by three. And uh, it's an interesting, fun puzzle and, uh, and a weird one to have in the collection. This is a da, brr, dodecahedron, I believe. I think might be the name of this shape mod. It's a three by three, but you just kind of shave off like the corners to where they come down to triangles. Um, it's possible to make one of these on your own. This is some very older mass produced version of it. I don't know where this, what it came from. It's got no branding on it whatsoever, but this came from one of my father's friends, I believe from his childhood or at least from, from his younger age or something. It's definitely older and it's uh, definitely, a, definitely a cool, 
addition to the collection just because of the fact that it's kind of something that you don't see anybody else having now, same with this one i think this got handed down through the same person this is a, a sphered rubik's puzzle this is not a rubik's cube this is a rubik's ball it isn't a, just a normal three by three but it's a ball and uh oh, it's kind of fun to sit here and play with not the not the best turning just in terms of how it turns and obviously since it's a ball um it can you can't use normal way of feeling it to tell that the layers are aligned because it could be completely misaligned like this and it feels completely normal in your hand so you have to make sure every layer is aligned nicely because this has absolutely no inner quarter cutting it's a, it's just an old cheap cube and uh but still a fun puzzle we're gonna show this off this is the world's smallest three by three that's what that's it's called in the packaging and it's not the world's smallest if you want to go guinness world record um it definitely goes smaller than this the cubies the size of the cubies are about the same exact size as the the centerpieces on a 13 by 13 kind of give you a size comparison if that helps at all it, it you know it operates as a, as a three by three and it, it turns and it uh performs a, as should but it's just definitely a, a, a a false claim to call this the uh the world's smallest rubik's cube slide these all over here these are the last of the three by three related ones that we'll be looking at this here is the windmill cube this is definitely a fun one it's pretty much a three by three turned in an axis like this and then shaped down into a cube position from there called a windmill cube because kind of look at it look at the the, the two outside faces kind of looks like a windmill fun shape-shifting puzzle unique challenge um very similar to uh the fisher cube has uh though the fisher cube is a little bit easier on the windmill cube each side on here actually only has two rows of pieces even though it still has all the same pieces that a three by three has so this is a little more challenging than the fisher cube here and we all should know the fisher cube this is it's a very popular um puzzle it's even mass produced now it was made by concept made by tony fisher way back in the day who uh, just thought they would take the Rubik's Cube and the same concept as making the barrel cube here, they would cut down all these corners and then extend all the edges and it would make uh, make it back into a cube shape, but kind of in a diamond shape rather than a square shape. And uh, if that made any sense, I guess it's still the same square shape. I don't know why I'm trying to over explain the, 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 the Fisher Cube, but uh, it's, a, it's a three by three. <laughs> This here is Fisher Twist. Um, they had two twist cubes that they made. I don't have the original twist uh, cube. I bought the Fisher one because I thought it looked a little cooler. Um, this is the Fisher version of the twist cube. It's pretty much just supposed to be a Fisher cube, but as if somebody grabbed it and twisted the cube and had it twist in this cartoon-like manner. And it's a very, it's a very cool look. It's a very satisfying to look at fun to play with my only complaint is because like the surfaces are curved i've had a lot of issues where the stickers uh don't want to stay down or the stickers keep wanting to pop up because they don't conform to the curved surfaces very well but it's still a fun cube <laughs> this is the golden mirror blocks this is a very fun puzzle that I still like to play with a lot nowadays. It's just a three by three, but instead of using colors to solve it, you use shapes where every piece is a different shape. And uh, even if you look closely at it, the camera's kind of doing a, a decent job of, at picking it up. It kind of has elements of a super cube to it because uh, if you look very closely, the the stickers kind of have lines running vertically through them while as you can, well if you look at the center it's different from the corners and the edges where it runs horizontally that's because the center is actually supposed to be twisted and if it kind of catches it in a different light it almost makes the center piece look like it's a different color so if you really want to be picky about it looking at it it's also a super cube it is a very very fun puzzle the the shape just the the shape shifting in itself that it does uh makes it really fun this is the checkerboard pattern I think it's a very fun cube. I've done a couple videos on it in the past that I can remember. Um, definitely worth having in your collection. This is the Axis Cube, which I think is a very fun cube. Very fun uh, three by three shape mod challenge. I'm pretty sure the concept of it is that it's just a normal three by three that they just like tipped at a weird angle like this and then just shaved it and planed it into a cube shape from there. And we got this out of it. And all it is, and I know it doesn't look like a normal 3x3, but as you start to turn it, 
um, you start to kind of see where this is the centerpiece and the edge and corner and everything. Um, definitely a fun and challenging shape mod. And I think it's also where this cube, the ghost cube kind of spawns from. The ghost cube is an incredibly hard shape mod of a three by three. This is not the solid position. This is just a cubic position to even be get this to begin to turn like a three by three, which you guys probably noticed the ghost cube is a very popular mass produced cube now. You just, you gotta offset the top and the bottom layer like this, and then you can begin turning everything like a three by three. Super fun cube, definitely worth having the collection. That's it for the three by three related stuff. The last category of cubes. I've got a bunch of them sitting over here in the corner. These are all cuboids. This is uh this is a three by three by seven made by Cube for You. It's uh squished down into like the form factor of a three by three to where it can do the three by three shape shifting while not literally shape shifting, still being in the physical three by three form factor. And it's got the these three layers and these three layers squished down to be tiny, so you can have the three by three by seven. Um, I love cuboids. These, all of these here, these are gonna be like all of my favorite puzzles. Cuboids are very fun. This is definitely a fun one. I like the idea of the the little squeeze down layers like this. I think it's a cool way to to be able to add more layers in there. Looking similar to that one, this is the three by three by nine. Pretty much the same thing. It's smushed down into a three by three form factor, but obviously we don't have this. Uh, bigger middle layer in here. Uh, the middle layer has been squished out into their own individual layers. So now it's three by three by nine. Obviously it does three by three turning, kind of shape shifting into a three by three. And it also does all the all the three by three by nine uh, middle turning moves as well. Very fun, very fun puzzle. This, I'm showing this because I'm pretty sure it's considered a cuboid. I don't remember what it's called. What I think this is the cross cube. I believe it might be called. Essentially what it is, is if you want to look at it like this, essentially what it is, it's, it's a five by five, but without like any of the very outer pieces. It's a five by five, but only with center pieces. And the center pieces also have uh, edges on the side here. It's a very fun puzzle. Um, definitely a very fun challenge. It's pretty much essentially the solve is the same as doing a five by five, but only doing the centers, but then uh, doing the last layer and getting all these pieces around the last center to match up properly is its own challenge. So it's definitely fun to play with. This is the four by four by six. This is a fun cuboid, but I definitely have some complaints about the cube itself. It doesn't turn the best. Um, I, I definitely, if I were to put some lubricant in it, it would turn a lot better, which I don't have any lubricant. It's been so long, I don't have any anymore, but the cube itself turns very uh, stiff. It's still a very fun cuboid. It turns just like you it would expect, and it also shape shifts um, like a four by four. So it, uh, it has that challenge to it as well. The next one here, this is the four by five by five five by five by four however you want to however you want to order it um this one does not cheap shift uh just a just a fun cuboid to uh play around with and uh to have some fun with this is similar to what i'm pretty sure is called the cross cube that i just showed prior here um and i believe this is called the x cube maybe like uh, like i said i'm a little fuzzy on these names it's pretty much the same thing but without like two outside centers on uh this cross cube here to where it looks like this and it has a bit of its own shape shifting because it can turn uh like a three by three and it can shape shift like that so uh definitely a fun challenge don't play with this one that often but when i do i definitely have fun playing with it this is the three by three by five this is definitely a classic cuboid one that's been around for a long time as i'm sure all of these are been around for a while been mass produced by a lot of different companies mine has a little bit of an issue where this corner piece is starting to to, to come apart a little bit um but it is what it is it's just getting old but it's a it's a fun puzzle um it's pretty much the same solve as a three by three with the shape shifting and then uh you pretty much solve it the rest of the way like a three by three by two definitely a fun puzzle speaking of which this is my three by three by two uh don't know what uh brand this would be this is definitely like starter cuboid as i might call it the the method that you use to solve it and the algorithms that you use to solve it carry on throughout I'm pretty sure every single other cuboid, you'll use algorithms from this within it. This is definitely just how solving a three by three is a necessity to solving the higher order cubes, like a four by four or a five by five. Solving the three by three by two is necessary knowledge to solving every other cuboid.
Now these I have two of here. These are the two by four by six. I have a white plastic one and a black plastic one. Two by four by six is definitely a very hard cuboid. It turns, it shape shifts in every direction. Um, it shape shifts like this into a four by four by two. Shape shifts like this into a two by two by four. And then it shape shifts into a two by two by two. It's a very fun cube. I taught myself uh, a very not efficient method of solving this at a young age when i first got this i did not even know how to solve a three by three by two and i thought i could figure out and after about two weeks of very hard work i eventually nailed down a method that pretty much involved me using the four by four edge flip parity algorithm about a million times over completely inefficient but i got the job done so it's definitely a cube that stands out in my head because it's a cube that's very hard that i was able to figure out how to solve um, just by sitting there and, and putting that time into it, even at, even at a young age. This cuboid here is definitely a unique one. I got this one uh, within the past uh, couple months. This is a five by five by one. Now this is made by Tripoom and uh, he is a puzzle designer based out of Thailand, I believe, who makes and mods his own puzzles. He makes a lot of different uh, ordered cuboids that don't exist in the, in, the, in the world otherwise. The 5x5x1 five by five by itself, for a long time, at least that I can remember when I was younger, um, was considered an impossible concept because just the idea of the floppy cube, which I have a super floppy cube right here, the idea of a normal floppy cube was already barely possible because of how much the corner piece would hang off um, the edge. And the problem was having a piece like that be stable. So that's why this one was barely possible. You add two more layers when you turn this layer like this, you're gonna have two more pieces hanging off the top that they're just impossible to make stable and still turn. So this is a shape mod that Tripoom made. He made this out of a Shangshao 5x5 where he essentially just shaved down the top and the bottom as much as possible and rounded it over and built it out to make it look nice to be a 5x5x1. Uh, a five by five by if you look at it from the side, you can see it's, that, it's still got a pretty good amount of, of height to it. It's still, uh, you know, in comparison, taller than a normal 3x3x2. Three by three by and if I take a uh, normal Rubik's Cube, it's about the same size from center to center still definitely got some size to it and it's a little hefty as well because there's a lot of uh, plastic built onto it but the production and the quality of this cube is amazing for a handcrafted cube triboom is an incredibly smart puzzle designer and the craftsmanship that he uh, that he put into this is incredible it turns really well even when the cube is messed up which i've messed up and solved this definitely a good handful of times already even when everything is messed up all of the pieces um line up with each other perfectly to where it's and when you mess up when it starts to get messed up you don't have certain center pieces bumping out higher than certain edges just overall amazing craftsmanship bringing what used to be an impossible concept to life i i kind of just want i really wanted to get this just for the idea of it and uh, i think it's a really cool puzzle and as mentioned i have the super floppy cube here i do not have a normal floppy cube but i do have the super floppy cube only difference between this one and, is a, nor and a normal one is this was this one can turn like a normal floppy cube but you can also turn one of the layers like this and then start to shape shift and turn the edges when they're out of place definitely uh definitely a necessity to the collection we are finally down into the last to the remainder of the cubes that i have so let's start with this little boy here um this is a uh one by two by three that uh i bought a target i think they started mass producing this under under some they gave it some weird name and it doesn't even have uh sides on these two outer sides it just comes down to a point there but it you know it, it, it works it's a it's a one by two by three and uh it's part of my collection this here is the three by three by four fairly easy cuboid especially uh once you already know how to solve a three by three by two this is uh pretty much a walk in the park this isn't very much different all it is is solving it, uh, solving a three by three by two twice with a middle layer on the second solve. Fun cube, definitely necessary to the cuboid collection. This is a Rubik's tower, I believe is what they call it. It's a Rubik's brand two by four by, or two by two by four. You know, it's an all right cube, especially for a Rubik's brand. You know, with cuboids, I don't look for speed. I just look for quality and it's decent quality. The only thing that really uh, makes me mad about it is it's even, th this is even a Rubik's brand cube. They don't follow 
their their color scheme. The color scheme is all out of whack. We've got blue blue next to green here, which should, should, should never happen. You know, it's, it's, it's just all out of whack. And it, that's just one thing about it that really bothers me. This here is another one of my favorites for sure. This is the three by four by five. Turns obviously as you would expect it to. And then if you turn it like this, it can do shape shifting moves into a three by three by four. But yeah, this is a three by four by five. Very fun cuboid to solve. It has the shape shifting features and just the, the features of being a different cuboid from the rest of them. Um, just being, uh, just as a normal solve. So it's very fun. This is a basic one here. This is a four by four by three. This one does not shape shift. It just turns as expected. Uh, still a fun puzzle to play with. Definitely has its own uh, element of challenge that also carries on to a couple of the other cubes like uh, the five by five by four that I already showed. And as well as this last one here, which is the four by four by five. Um, which has a slightly similar solving element to it. Similarly, this one does not shape shift either. Turns as you'd expect, but again, it's a, another fun, fun puzzle and another fun addition to to the Cuboid collection. So that is everything. That is, uh, man, that felt good to get all that filmed. I have probably about an hour's worth of footage here that I'm gonna have to add it down into a watchable amount. But that, look at that, I had a good time and my computer decided to shut off. Why don't you wake back up, man? I'm not a user to edit. But it felt good. It felt good to get that film. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys even care about watching the entirety of a cube collection video, if you do, I hope I made that uh, worthwhile for you. Um, maybe you saw some cubes that you've never seen before, uh, specifically like this five by five by one. On the, um, I know this is one that definitely not everybody has. Definitely one that I'm proud to say that I own. And uh, maybe some older obscure ones that you've never seen be mass produced, some like this dodecahedron. Definitely got some interesting cubes and I now, and finally content with being able to say that I'm going to have an updated version of my cube collection on my YouTube channel again as I start to uh, begin pumping out content. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, as I get more cubes and as I uh, purchase more cubes, you guys will see them um, appear as unboxings and as reviews uh, on the channel as they come. If I have any videos of any cubes that I've shown within this video, I will link the videos each in the description, which I know, like I think like for the void cube and for like the wall cube, I have older videos on. So any videos that I do have of cubes that I've shown, I'll link in the description below if you want to check them out. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you next time.